I'd like to welcome y'all to Q City World. And I'm here with the Love One, Hate One, aka Love One, Great One. You feel me? A million dollars guaranteed and made one. At least, you know what I mean? You see that shoebox that boy be carrying around, man. Love One, Great One, man. Anyway, at the end of the day, man, we're gonna talk about this ESPN. You know what I mean? To Fimo Lopez versus Lomacheco. Free! Hold on, did I say that right? Is it free? Is it free? It, it, it's free on ESPN. You dig what I'm saying? This Saturday night. I think it might start about 9 o'clock Eastern. 8 o'clock Eastern, whatever, I don't know. 8 o'clock Central. You know what I mean? Uh, 6 o'clock, y'all time. I mean, either way it go, this is some classic shit that's gonna go on, man. To Fimo Lopez versus... Lomacheco, man. Something you never seen before, man. You know what I'm saying? The high-tech matrix versus the young, crazy warrior. You dig what I'm saying? This is, hey, man. It's a female warrior, man. You dig what I'm saying? He beef with his dad and all kind of shit, man. But, you know, that's how it is. Floyd used to beef with his. You know what I mean? Men, men do that shit. He growing up. You know what I mean? Uh, I didn't know that him and his dad was going through what they were going through, but you know, it ain't my business, you know what I mean, as long as that boy stay focused and he know what he got to do. But uh, how do you feel about this press conference, man? Man, as far as the press conference is concerned, uh, like I said before, man, you got to respect Lomachenko and um, deal with my Lopez for making a fight, period, for even having a fight, you know, because a lot of, a lot of the best don't want to fight the best. And these are two guys right here that dare to be great. You gotta respect that on every level. But I'm gonna also say this. <laughs> I do feel like, um, uh, you know, Lomachenko, he knows he's in a real fight, man. Um, because I always said it before, Lomachenko might not have the best. I said he might not have the best um, English, yeah, English. I wasn't gonna say speech, but he don't have the best speech or English. Like it's, sometimes it's hard to understand what I'm saying. Like we all know it's true, man. It is what it is. And let me ask you this question, though. This, this is this is go with what you talking about. How do you feel about Lomachenko taking this year off? You know what I mean? This is Lomachenko says his first time taking a year off like this. You know what I mean? You think that's gonna affect him? I don't think that's going to hold that much weight because um, one thing I know Lomachenko, he's always sparring. He's not like a, a Tank Davis who will literally, you know, sit out partying and chilling and fucking eating donuts and burgers and hamburgers. Yeah, you're right. You right. Drinking liquor and yeah, you're right. Yeah, Tank, Tank, he, he, he has to rise to the occasion now. I'm not, don't think I'm sleeping on Tank because he's training pretty hard for me. Oh, tank focus. Tank focus. Oh, Tank focus. Oh, he focused. Yeah, okay. yeah, he, he focused. focused. He did that. We did that. We talked about yeah. that next too. Yeah, we talked about that later on. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, back to the question. Um, I feel like Lomachenko. He's a guy that's always sparring. You know, he's you know he's the, he's a guy that put in rounds. A guy that always working out. A guy that dedicated to his craft. So I don't feel he stays in shape. So I don't feel like that will hold that much weight. When you look at that, question. when you look at that uh, press conference, how did you feel about the body language? Though you know, like the Tafimo look a little nervous, jittery a little bit compared to oh, yeah. Yeah, like, was, like he was like knew what he wanted to do up in there, man. He looked the real focused. You know what I mean? He definitely looked focused, but that could be that could be a gift and a curse to me because, um, like I told you guys before, Lomachenko is the guy that talks trash. It is what it is. Like the dude talks shit. You know, um, he's been given, um, Mr. Lomachenko respect, you know, and that's one thing that, um, he'll be my little pet senior said too. Like, you know, he's been giving us a lot of respect because Lomachenko knows what he's into. On Lomachenko, I mean, on Phil Pima Lopez Jr. and seniors on their side of the game is, I don't see them really giving Lomachenko you know, much respect, which could be a bad thing, though. What's your thoughts on it? I mean, I'm just, I'm just chilling, man. Hey, how I feel about it, you know, like, on this respect situation, this is what happened, dog. You feel me? On some real nigga shit, man. This is how I, uh, I some, you know what I mean? Me trying to have empathy and going to the minds of Tefimo Lopez and his dad to try to figure out why the fuck, why, 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 why y'all so mad at and think that Lomacheco think he's a god? I don't think that Lomacheco think he's a god. I think Lomacheco is... 
You know, I don't like to say humble. I think he's just, a, you know what I mean, a respectable young man. You feel what I'm saying? He's not humble. He know he's the best in boxing. He probably walked like he's the best. You know what I mean? But what happened was... I mean, but look, that's what not true, was, though. Look, I don't know. Right. Look, actually, he's not humble. My bad, though. I'm talking about humble. humble. I mean, like, it's not in his, his culture, like, to be, like, the American flamboyant, flashy talking shit. Like, nigga, I'm about to destroy you, beat the hell out of you. Even though he will say it in a joking yeah, way. Humble. It's like in a joking way. It ain't, it ain't as aggressive. You know what I mean? But the reason why I think that Tefimo... Bro, he calls himself Mr. Lo- no Chanko, bro. He called himself Mr. No Manchenko. Nigga, he, 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 he is not humble. He, he, he was making people quit. Okay. Did he make that he name up? up. Did, did Lama make that name up? Or the people stopped calling him. Yeah. He said it right after the wound, right after he stopped. Um, what's your name? Um, uh, Regan Dow. He was dead. The fight don't count. But I don't really count this because he was so much smaller. He said, from now on, you call me No Manchenko. But man, ain't never, man. Hey, I, hey, you supposed to be like that. Hey, as a fighter, you supposed to be like that. But I'm just saying, I don't think he think he's a god. Like, like the Fimo, the the way he was talking, man, was sounding like he was just holding in a look. But he need that kind of energy for this fight. He need to hate him. You know what I mean? You finna, you could be friends with him and give him respect after the fight. You know what I mean? But right now, ain't no time for that. I respect you. I hope you come in and do a good job because I'm gonna do a good job. You know what I mean? Tefimo need that that gas for his fire. You know what I mean? He need that kerosene. You dig what I'm saying? He gotta keep it plugged up. You dig what I'm saying? Oh, it's gonna freeze up in here, man. You dig what I'm saying? He gotta go up in there, heat it. You know what I mean? So he, so but what I was trying to say is from the beginning was. The reason I think Loma, uh, Tefimo don't like Lomachenko is simply because his dad and uh, Tefimo was was at one of Loma fights you know, at the hotel. They was in the lobby. Uh, Loma came up in that mug. You know what I mean? Focus. Finna, finna get ready for a fight. You feel me? Focus. You know what I mean? Feeling like he'll die. You feel me? On some, on some uh, get, get, uh, gladiator shit. You dig what I'm saying? So he, 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 he walked past him. He like, hey. It's my son. He like, hey. You know what I mean? They were like, he kept on walking. And uh, the female dad went off on him. Like, my son knocked you out and all that. Like, you disrespectful and all that. Long check on, like, what the fuck you talking about, dude? You know what I mean? Like, man, your son. I mean, okay. I, I'm, I'm finna fight somebody else. You feel me? I can't be hugging your son like I'm at, you know what I mean? Like I'm at a uh, meet and greet. You know what I mean? What do you want? You feel me? But I think when they seen Lomachenko walk past him, it was like seeing, you know what I mean, the big dog. Like, you know what I mean? Walk past him. You know what I mean? Like, oh, that's the guy that everybody talking about. Oh, I get him. He ain't even that big. Man, I knocked that little, you know what I mean? Oh, they looked at him like, look at him, man. He think he all that. You feel me? Because Bob love him. You know, we getting that spot. You feel me? On some, like, on some actually, like, Niggas trying to take over the neighborhood. You know what I mean? Any, you know what I mean? Just some, I ain't gonna say jealous, but you know, you got to act. Ain't nothing wrong with being a jealous boxer where you want to be champion. You know what I mean? That's one sport you ain't bad for being jealous in. But that man slick, like the way I look at it, like you ain't got no reason to hate Lomacheco because Lomacheco don't really put, put, push that persona. A lot of uh, black boxing fans don't like Lomacheco because they're trying to call him the greatest fighter ever after 11 fights. You know what I mean? Other than that, I really ain't got no problem with Lomacheco as a person because Lomacheco really ain't just no bad person. You feel me? He ain't out there calling himself great. I'm the great. I mean, he know that he got stuff to prove. You know what I mean? He's, you know what I mean? So, you know, I want to I, I wanna see what he can do. Um, but uh, I like Tefimo, man. I just know what he's doing. I know, I know how he got his fuel. I understand what's going on. But uh, Lomacheco looking cool, man. But Lomacheco like shit, man. Look, Fimo like, man. The man think he got Loma like, man. See, man, you gonna learn. You feel me? You gonna learn how to watch your mouth and watch what you say. You feel me? Lomacheco talking about hurting that man out there, man. You dig what I'm saying? Lomacheco ain't finna go out. Man, Lomacheco trying to hurt him. But you know, to Fimo trying to hurt Lomacheco and we and, Tom, and Lomacheco ain't just got that knockout power. At 135, you feel me? He ain't just blowing people around the ring. And, you feel me? He ain't just dodging all the punches. You feel me? Some good punches, some good fights. Now he's coming up against the female. The female been knocking cats out. You did. But at the same time, the female ain't never fought no competition level like Lomacheco. But who have? You did. 
So this is gonna be an excellent fight, man. I can't wait, man. I can't wait, man. That's what I'm saying. I love being just a uh, tournament on what you're the fans. Um, I just put like Roman Chase was just coming in the fight. Like, which, which I feel like is, it, it might not be ex- exciting like a lot of people think it's gonna be because I, I feel like Lomachenko will be deep and first. Like Lomachenko will try to, he's gonna have to hop in to land his punches. Don't get it twisted. But the thing is, Lomachenko has that, that, that hop in and out the foot beat to do that. And um, I feel like, you know, Tio Pimo Lopez, he, he, he gonna have to just be perfect when it comes down to time and time, you know. Now, I can because see, like, see Lomacheco playing around with that man. If, if he, if, if, if Lomacheco figure him out, the female slick guy knocked that man out early, man. He gonna have to have. I say I give, cause Lomacheco gonna figure his ass out. But that's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I said in my prediction video, man. I said uh, Lomacheco, he's a he's a rhythm fighter. You know, you gotta catch him. You gotta catch. Him. I'm going to change the before he gets into his rhythm. Yeah. Because then he finds that play off the crowd. So, you know, once he gets into his rhythm and, you know, he started showboating and shit, yeah. he does stuff. Yeah. That's what's going to get him, you know. And Lomacheco got one thing about Lomacheco that niggas don't understand. Neither Lomacheco got levels. You feel me? He got different levels. Yeah, yeah man. Like, for like five levels, man. You dig what I'm saying? Like, dude, man. He like man, dude, so high, like advanced mentally. You feel me? It's like it's like playing a sport. Like when you when you younger and shit, nigga, you be like, damn, if I understood the whole goddamn game, you feel me? All the way, I would have knew. You know what I mean? How to think? This dude understand it. So when he came in the game, he was already so old, so much older, and so much advanced. Dude, some dude out there like a genius out there when it comes to that. It, it's gonna be. Dude, dude gonna have to like it's gonna be like at least three levels. I say at least three. I give him three, but I'm pretty sure he got about four or five. Like Terrence Crawford, Floyd Mayweather. They can just switch it up. You knock them down, they get back up and go- come at you way harder. Different strategy. You know what I mean? Like when Floyd fought Shane. You know what I mean? Shane caught him that one time and it was over after that. You know what I mean? So the thing we're gonna have to really, really go out there and feel like he only got one shot to do it, man. Cause I mean I, I know he he said he got good feet movement. They were talking about it in the press conference, and he's like, I've been fighting for 19 years. I'm ready. I got good foot speed too. Man, you got good foot speed for a boxer. Lomachenko's an elite. You dig? He gonna try to jump in, man. He gonna be doing all kind of weird ass shit, man. You know? And um, I don't know, man. I just hope the young boys go out there and do a good job. But what you think about this too, though, man? I'll ask you this right here. I think it's actually a 50-50 fight, in my opinion, though. So go ahead. It's like they say it's a 53-47. Uh, but um, yeah, uh, this 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 was this was some yeah, shit that you. this was shit that really got me leaning towards uh, Lomachenko a little bit more because Tefimo was using the um, Floyd Mayweather strategy where he don't watch his opponents. You feel me? How you even not gonna watch your opponents? The female, uh, I know Lomacheco then went to the fight, watched him fight the dude, you fought, you know what I mean? So you can't ask Lomacheco, do you watch the female? He'll say, no, nah, I don't watch my opponent. You gotta study your opponents, really? study their moves, really? study their patterns, really? study their rhythms and stuff like that. You don't do shit like that, you, it's gonna. And see, this is where we're gonna see what type of fighter the female is, because whether we admit it or not, it gotta be, you know, not, not a next Mayweather, but a next special fighter of a Mayweather comic. It, it happens like every 10 years or shit like that. Man. So, if we could go in there, just, if we could go in there and be the great fighter, I mean, uh, you know, a, a very good fighter like Momachenko, you know, a unified champion, and without watching any footage see for some people you could say you know maybe they lying about you know not watching somebody's footage you know maybe it's just a ploy <laughs> but see, i believe everything that deal bimbo lopez say when he say he don't watch nothing you, say you think that's good though you think that's good that he's not watching no, the no it's gonna show you how special he is if he go in there and beat lomachenko and not watch no footage it's gonna really let you know how special that boy is Point out. 
Facts. I mean, it'd be special. You go up there. That's my thoughts on that. I mean, I.